Hey, I'm Steven from Snow Joe, and today we're going to do another installment in our video series entitled Let's Open the Box. Today I want to demonstrate for you how to assemble the Sun Joe SWJ800E. It's our pole saw. Let's open the box. Now that we've unpacked our pole saw, let's review each of the individual components so there's no confusion with regard to the names of the individual items. Here's the body of our pole saw. Here's our owner's manual. Here's our registration card. Don't forget to turn it in so that you can activate the two-year warranty. Here's your 8-inch chain. Here's the bar. This is the cover for it. And then here is your 732nd hex key with screwdriver attachment. The first step in the assembly process is to take the hex key that was provided and what we're going to do is unscrew the sprocket cover bolt and remove the cover. Next, lay out the saw chain in a loop and straighten out any kinks. Now what you want to do is you want to check the direction of travel. And if they face backwards, you can turn the loop over. Now you can compare the teeth of the chain against the picture. The next step is to place the chain drive links into the bar groove. A tip before we go on to the next step is to loosen the tensioner pin. You can just use your fingers to just loosen this just a little bit. It'll make the next step of getting the bar and chain on easier. Position the chain so there's a loop at the back of the bar. Hold the chain in position on the bar and place the loop around the sprocket. Just like that. Now, remember, when placing the bar on the flange, you want to ensure that the tensioner pin is in the chain tensioner hole and the bar. The next step is to tighten the chain tensioner screw only enough to hold the bar and chain in place, ensuring the chain is still in place over the sprocket. The next step in the insulation process is to install the sprocket cover. We're going to do this by inserting the rear tab into that slot. To attach this, what we're going to do is we'll take our hex key, put it in the bolt, and we're going to turn this. Now we're not going to do this too tight because we still want to leave room so that we can adjust the tension on our chain. Our next step is to remove all of the slack from the chain by turning the chain tensioning screw clockwise until the chain seats snugly against the bar with the drive links in the bar groove. You should really only see about that much play. The last step in the installation process is to tighten the sprocket cover bolt using our hex key. Just a reminder, a cold chain is correctly tensioned when there's no slack on the underside of the guide bar. The chain is snug, but you can turn it by hand without binding. Now remember, you always want to turn the chain in the direction of travel. Now that your pole saw is fully assembled, remember to fill the reservoir with oil. You can use any bar and chain oil that you can get at your local hardware store, or you can always get it at Snow Joe. I hope you've enjoyed this instructional video. Thank you for choosing Snow Joe and Sun Joe.